Okay, so it is time for us to begin construction of our simple level. Now I'm going to be breaking this up into a whole bunch of little bite-sized parts so it'll be real easy to follow along. And our first step is just to create the slab that will serve as our floor. So first thing I want you to do is to come up to the file menu and choose new. Make sure that additive is selected, which it should be by default, and then click OK. Now if you get the little message to say save any changes, save them if you were doing anything important, but for now I'm just going to click no. And that will give us a nice blank brand new scene so that everybody's starting on the same page. Now, to create our floor slab, we just simply need to tell the Red Builder brush the exact dimensions that we want. To do this, I'm going to come over to the toolbox. It's this nice strip of buttons here on the left side of your screen. And you'll see the cube button in the left-hand column of buttons about a quarter of the way down. I want you to right-click on the cube button. And this will bring up the Brush Builder Cube window. Now this window allows you to punch in the exact dimension that you'd like to use for the Red Builder brush so that we can add in some geometry. So what I want you to punch in is 1088 for X, so 1088, and my zero key, there you go, there it is. So 1088, now you can hit either tab or the down arrow key to go to the next entry. For Y, I want you to punch in 2080. And then for Z, which is our height, just use 32. Because this is just a slab for a floor, so it doesn't need to be all that thick. Click Build and Close. And if we take a look here inside Perspective, now I'm just dragging with the left mouse button, and then I'll slide sideways by holding left and right mouse together. We can see that we just have this great big slab area. Now we need to add this in as geometry. So back over in the toolbox, again in the left-hand column, about two-thirds of the way down, you'll see the button labeled CSG Add. Go ahead and click on that. Now here in my perspective view, I actually see a result. The only reason I'm seeing that is because currently I'm in unlit mode. If you're not in unlit mode, you can switch over to it by clicking on the unlit button inside the perspective viewports toolbar. So very quick and easy. But what I'd like to do is to go ahead and add a temporary work light just to make this a, a little bit easier. So I'm going to actually switch over to lit mode. So go ahead and click on lit and everything goes dark. The, the slab is still there, we just can't see it because all the lights are off. So let's create a light. Here in perspective, I'm going to hold down the L key and then left click right in the center of our slab and that will automatically generate a light for us but it's sitting right on the surface so it looks a little weird. So I'm going to use my translation widget which if you don't see your translation widget make sure that up here at the top in your main toolbar that translation mode is active and that you're not accidentally in selection mode. If you still don't see the widget there's a couple of other things you should check. Uh, the first of which would be under edit under the edit menu make sure that show transform widget is active and make sure that you're not in game view mode because uh, if you're in game view mode, then you won't be able to see this widget at all. And that button is the big letter G button located in your viewport toolbar. Now, if you saw that, then everything is good. Just grab your translation widget and drag it up in the blue axis, which is the Z axis, and just get that up off the ground. Now, this light is not quite big enough to illuminate our entire slab. Don't worry about that right now. This is just kind of a temporary light to give us something to work with for just a little while. We'll actually increase the size of that light here in just a moment. Now, if we wanted to walk around on this slab, we would have a problem. We can do it if you take the perspective view and navigate yourself to where you're kind of right down here on top of the surface. If you right-click and choose Play from here from the menu, you're going to get a perfectly black world and a message in your window that says lighting needs to be rebuilt. And obviously, that's not a good thing. So let's go ahead and take care of that. This is something you'll probably be doing a lot while you're setting your levels up and the more complex your levels the longer this is going to take so keep rebuilding in mind and try not to do it too often because it can really eat up a lot of your time eventually so let's just click on build all now this is a really simple level so it should just take a moment light mass will fire up swarm and we'll take care of a couple of quick operations it's collecting the scene together and you'll see all this stuff on your end but once we get to that it goes really really fast just because the level's so simple And there we go. So we'll go ahead and close that. We can not really worry about these error messages just yet. We'll get there. Now, if we right click on the floor again and choose play from here, boom, we have this nice slab that we can run around on. Already, we have technically a kind of playable level. 
You can run around in this environment. You could shoot the floor if you wanted to, and you can jump around. It's a really boring level, but we've got something. So let's go ahead and just stop right here. Now, what I want you to do is make sure that you save your map. It's absolutely critical that you save your map. I'm going to do it once in this video, but then from here on out, I'm going to assume that at the end of each video, you're taking a moment and saving. There's nothing more embarrassing than to accidentally lose any kind of work just because you weren't saving. So let's go to File, choose Save Current Level, and you need to give this some sort of a name. I'm going to create my very own folder for this. We're going to call the folder simple level we'll jump inside that folder and I'm just gonna call this simple level underscore one I recommend that you make multiple saves while you're working on a level that way if you mess something up or if you know, something terrible happens along the way you can jump back to a previous save and continue from that point or maybe you're just working and you think you know this wasn't such a good idea and I don't want to take the time to undo everything you can just jump back a save so that's going to wrap up this video. All we wanted to do is create this basic slab. Now from here on out, there are going to be some things that I will start taking for granted. As I mentioned, I won't be saving at the end of every video, so make sure that you are saving. Please don't forget to save. Please, please. Also, uh, when I go to create a new shape for the Red Builder Brush, you will find that I often just jump right over and right-click on the cube button without exactly mentioning it. So every time you see the Brush Builder Cube window pop up, that's because I just came over to the toolbox and right-clicked on cube. So you should really be getting used to, to doing that. So that will wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.